What I got for you guys today is this Mosler Safety Deposit Box Lock. It says right on the key, Mosler. There is no indicating uh, marks on the actual lock itself saying it's Mosler, so that's all speculation. But you can see right, right here, when I turn the venter key, the bolt retracts slightly and all these levers come up. So it, it, it is correct key. And what I should be able to do then is just pick this side by applying tension on the key and finding binders over here. The back lever is always a little tricky. I don't know why. There we go. It's open. But these, there's two viewing windows right here, so it doesn't really count. You have to put something over them. So then you can't see what you're doing. And what fun is it to just pick one side? Why not pick both? So now what I want to do is tension this, pick this side first, and then pick this side. And I've already shot this video like five times already. And my arm gets in the way most of the time, so now you're just seeing my hand. So you see right there, this bolt just slightly retracted a little bit and I got a little bit more give out of my tension wrench. So that means it's time to pick this side. And there we go. We got it open. So now it's all locked back up. I will remove the, whatever you want to call it, sticky notes. There we go. I'll remove those and start showing you guys the levers. Now, to be quite honest, this, this safety deposit box isn't really that I don't know, that exotic of a pick or that cool of a pick. Because it is fairly simple because there's no false gates and no special locking mechanisms to really prevent you from picking it. So that's probably why they have gone away from this style. So here's the first level lever on the wrencher side. 
Here's the second lever. Third lever. Fourth lever. And fifth lever. Here's also the curtain. Nothing modified to any of this. Then here you can see that here's a curtain on the guard side. This is what really struck me as odd. One lever. Two lever. This really struck me as odd that I don't know. I would have even thought in an earlier safety deposit box lock that there would have been a little bit more security, but only two levers for the bank side and five for the customer side, so I'll also show you the bolt. Why not? It doesn't take long to remove and show you that there's nothing done to it to fake it. So, this is hopeful, hopefully the first of many safety deposit box that I will be picking. I bought about 20 of them on eBay that are all keyless, so I'm trying to make keys for them. And, uh, you know, try some impressioning, try some just re uh, re regular cutting and looking at the levers and decoding them and, and stuff like that, but... Hopefully th th there will be more to this series, is what I'm getting at basically. And I can show you the first lock that I have made a key for is this, uh, what I assume to be cheap Ilco. Here's the renter side. Didn't, it did not have the guard side. You can see the sharpie there from me trying to clean up my cuts and whatnot. So the bank side that opens. You can see the levers right there all pop into place. Let me turn this. And there we go. Wasn't quite all the way. So maybe I'll try to pick this one next. This one uh, looks challenging though. A lot of serrations on the on the fences and Tons of anti-pick measures in this. Even 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 though this is by t today's standards a pretty inexpensive safety deposit box lock. So, thanks for tuning in, and watching my video. Uh, until next time, have a nice day.